Hey guys, what's going on? Six Shot here, and today for you guys, I am playing some War Z. So actually, I've played this game very little since its release or beta, whatever, whatever you want to call it. I've played very, very little. Um, oh, actually have some things, which is nice. Thank you, Jacob. So, like I said, I've barely, barely played, and, uh, I mean, the, the game, when I played, was very Flashlight Wars, uh, it was not at all amazing, it wasn't, you know, uh, anything to brag about at all. It was okay. It wasn't the worst game in the world, but it was it was cool. I'm gonna put on this little mask. I think it looks fucking awesome. Black mask. Electric. No, I don't need that. And no, I don't need any of this. I'll take I'll take these. I'll take a flat. I'll take that. Okay. So this is my character right here. I just picked the average good uh, Joe, and my name is Douche Canoe. So let's actually get into the game. So when I played the server browser was actually non-functional. Uh you could not pick a game. You just had to do a quick search from the quick join game. So let's see. There's 70 fucking players. I'm just going to join one with uh let's say this, this looks Let's actually pick one with good ping. Okay, looks like the game's frozen on me again. Hey, there we go. Okay, so... Uh, is 23 the highest? 23 the highest? Uh, here we go. Alright, US server 56. Let's try to join this. And I should be... Yeah, I will be a completely blank character except for the inventory I've had in my global. Um... I haven't really played this game a whole bunch, so I can't really say so far right now as to whether it's good, whether it's bad. But at the end of this, I will kind of compare it to DayZ, uh, like we all have, and kind of talk about what I think about the game. Uh, and this session will probably end when I die and or get bored. Uh, same as in DayZ, it's it's just a game where I could die any second. So um, depending on how long I live will obviously be how long I play. So it is the middle of the night, so I cannot see a damn thing. Well, it's not bad. I can see. Alright, I just gotta figure out controls. Uh, okay. Okay, there's first person. Okay, that makes sense. I guess. First person is C? That's kind of strange. Okay. So, oh, they've opened up the whole map. That's nice. Okay, so directly behind me is a military base. So I'm guessing that will be full of things. So let's actually go there now. So it appears you want to be looking down your sights for any kind of um you I mean first person for any kind of let's say fighting or something because it seems like that is going to be your best plan of action because you can actually look down the iron sights of a gun that is when you have a gun if you just have a flashlight or something or a baseball bat I'm sure third person view would be just fine Just making sure we're still going in the right direction. As far as I know, there is no free look, which kind of sucks. But what am I gonna do? So right now I'm getting FPS of 20, and I'm playing on 1920 by 1080 on ultra settings on a laptop, and I'm getting 20 set 20 frames a second. So that that's decent. It's not it's not bad. It's decent. Like I said, 
Um, just kind of a reference as to what kind of graphics you guys should expect. I play Battlefield 3 on Ultra at about 50 frames a second. So, 50 FPS that is. Um, so that, that's just kind of the frame I get on this computer. Not bragging, but just letting you guys know that this game is kind of graphically intensive for whatever reason. Not exactly sure why, but, oh, kind of a little glitch right there. I wish you could get rid of this frickin' chat box that's right in the way of everything, it seems. That's a big-ass fucking hill. Jesus. Alright, I can see the military base ahead of me now. So I don't really expect to run into a whole bunch of um, enemy players. Actually, I might already. It looks like a flashlight, maybe? No. Okay, that's just a light. This game is actually pretty dark, so it would be fairly easy to hide in the darkness. So I hope this is actually kind of what it, it's saying, and there's actually a, um... It's actually a military base, there's actually, you know, guns and things over here, that'd be nice. Uh, you just never know what they're gonna pull. If they just come out and say, like, oh, it's a military base, but there's no weapons, uh... But to fuck it. So uh, this game is relatively similar to Daisy so far. Uh, it's a running simulator. Um, just running from area to area is the biggest downtime in the world in this game, as well as Daisy. So they are almost the same in that regard. Uh, I do not believe there are vehicles in this game, so the downtime is even longer. Uh, because in Daisy, you can actually acquire vehicles at some point in game, and you can get from point A to point B just that much quicker. But in this game, it's all on foot. It appears. So is that is okay. Okay, so I do not want the flashlight. Alright, so this sound is just needs to stop. Uh, I just turn up the brightness a little bit so you guys can probably see a little bit better. Oh, Jesus. I don't remember how you actually turn off the flashlight, but there was a way. Mm, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Who did the disc pop? So that's pretty neat. There's actually little sounds coming from this vehicle. Not really neat, but it's just, you now. You know, whatever. Jesus Christ. These zombies sound fucking horrible. They're just fucking screaming right in my goddamn ear. Come on now. Die.
God damn it. So I'm not really sure what's up with the zombies. Uh, it seems like they can't damage you, maybe? I don't know, something, something weird's going on there. And there's fucking nothing spawned over here. That's just great. Um... God damn it. So the combat in this game is very strange. I'm sure you guys can already tell that though. You don't need me to tell you that. Uh, it appears that the zombies cannot really hurt you. Um, or they have some weird, strange... Just strange, whatever. So, really, nothing is spawning over here? This is ridiculous, really. So, I'm gonna head over here, see if I can find anything. I don't see anything has spawned anywhere. There's a helicopter crash, is what it looks like. So. Uh, if Daisy has taught me anything, let's go towards the helicopter crashes. And let's see if that holds true in this game. So another zombie. If I actually die, I kind of will be a little frustrated because... It doesn't appear that he's damaging me that much. It's just, it's just strange. So, bandages uh, are a one-time deal that they automatically fix you for some amount of damage. Um, okay, nice to know. Okay, so it looks like somebody's been here, and that's why... Oh, hey, stuff has spawned. There's some bandages. I'll take that. What is this? M16? Fuck yeah. And a small backpack. I'll take it. Uh, looks like I got 30 rounds for this thing. That's, that's pretty nice. Okay, well, this place wasn't completely barren. So is there anything else that looks like it might have something of value in it? Um, everything looks fairly clear of valuables. You know, like I said, except for that helicopter crash. Okay, so let's open up the map. Uh, hmm. Looks like the closest thing is going to be Boulder City. It looks like a fairly large city. So I will head that way. Um, I guess the zombies drop money. I don't, I don't really know what that's about. Um, I may fast forward this part depending on what I feel like doing when I'm editing this. Uh, we will see. But I'm just going to pretend like I'm not going to fast forward, so I'm going to talk this whole time. So, uh, so combat, very, very strange. Uh, it's not necessarily bad, but like I said, it's just very strange. Um, and you guys saw, it, it was like the zombies, they didn't damage me, but they did after a few hits, I don't know, it was very weird. It was almost like, uh, oh shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? Thank you. 
Oh my god, where the fuck was he come from? That's fucking crazy. He scared the shit out of me. Okay. Alright, well that's, that's okay. So I'm actually, I think I have to exit the game to get back into the game. So uh, right now I guess I'll kind of do a little comparison. Uh, that was very quick gameplay and I understand that. I can't really judge the entire game based on this little, uh, might have been 30 minutes little play session. But however it seems that the guns are fairly simple to find. Uh, it seems like you just need to find a town and you have found guns and ammo. Um, combat with zombies is very strange with melee weapons, at least. Um, it seemed like you had to aim a few feet above their head to actually hit their head. And it seemed like they couldn't hit you, but like every ten or so swipes. So it was almost like, um, they would swipe at you for every ten times they would swipe, you know, they would hit. And when they hit, it seemed like they did a whole lot of damage. Um, very strange. The stamina bar is actually something new. Daisy does not have a, any kind of stamina. You can actually run forever in that game. Uh, however, in this game, it seems like you have about a minute to a minute and a half of uh, just full-out sprinting before you need to rest for a few moments. Um, PvP is very strange. It seems like it seems it's shoot first, ask questions later. Uh, while in DayZ, it's kind of like, um, hey, are you friendly? No, okay, you're dead. Uh, in this game, it's just like, okay, I see somebody, I'm gonna stalk them, and now they're dead. Anyways, first impressions, um, uh, it's almost exactly like the, the DayZ, except just a few minor changes here and there. Um, not bad ones. Uh, not necessarily good yet, though. We will see how good this comes about uh, when the full game is released soon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little thing. Uh, I hope it wasn't too short or too stupid. I'm a noob at this game after all. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.